Hey everybody, David Burns here. What's up? Hey, a lot of you have been responding to me uh, and the videos that I've been producing, and I appreciate that. And uh, some of you say, hey, we want to know more about what's going on at your place. What do you do uh, when you're not keeping bees? What's your place look like besides the beehives? And, and so uh, I thought I'd show you some things, but today's video is about swarming. Here comes Sherry. You can see her behind me in her Mustang. There she goes. Uh, so I want to talk to you today about swarming. I'm going to give you two examples of swarming with a good friend of mine, Steve Rapaski. He's, uh, he and I have known each other for the last few years. We work closely together as master beekeepers. And uh, he's published a book, and I will make a reference to that book uh, toward the end of this video. If you want to purchase that from our website, we, we would love to uh, have you do that. And I know Steve could use the uh, extra... Uh, money that he's going to make off you buying that book to probably buy a cheeseburger or maybe um, I don't know go out take his wife out to eat or something we'll see but so a couple of things I wanted to talk about swarming is it best just to shake the branch and let the bees fall down I'll show you an example of that Steve will and then uh, or is it best to kind of lay a sheet down and then shake and let all the bees fall on the white sheet and walk into a hive. We'll kind of do that. But I want to show you a couple of things real quick. This is actually our uh, chicken coop in the background. We have about, uh, I don't know, somewhere around 10 chickens. And that gives us the eggs that we need as a family. But let's go in there and see what the chickens are doing real quick. Some of you are really chicken fanatics and you like uh, chickens. And oh, the, these are new and they're just kind of hanging out here inside the coop but ah this is breakfast tomorrow look at that two eggs and i'm going to enjoy that all right so some other chickens are out we let them free range during the day and uh so that's a lot of fun not too far from the chicken coop you might have seen this before if you've ever been here is that we have this uh big tree here and look what's inside of it it's a beehive. Who would who would suspect that, huh? Gosh, look how loud that is. I mean, just look at how packed it is. Isn't that crazy? You hear that? Uh, and some of you are like, nah, I don't want to know anything about the family. I don't want to know anything about your stupid chickens. Just tell me the beekeeping stuff. Get me through all your other crap, and I want to watch something about beekeeping. So we'll try to balance it out, okay? There's one here, and then there's one down here. I like that. It's classic. Hanging there, bending the branch down from its weight. You're going to have bees that are attached to things. Stuff like that's going to happen. What if the, the swarm was covering multiple big branches? You, know, you got to cut clean. I clean out to I clean out as much as I can just to, to get to where those big branches are. At that point, I might have to shake. But if I could check, oh, that's the other thing. Check with your homeowner before you start cutting things. It might be their prize rose bush, that type of thing. It might be a tree they don't. It's nicely shaped, and they don't want that big divot in it. Maybe. And I'm actually going to cut behind me, right, because I want to support that swarm. Now, this is where my ratchet, my ratchet, my ratchet wants to work better. This swarm's going to be heavy, so be prepared, uh, especially those of you that are smaller in stature and, you know, it's, this is, this is probably three pounds at least right here, I can feel it. So you get a bigger swarm you're going to cut that and you're going to come down very quick. So make sure your box is in the right place. Notice there's bees flying around, but not a whole lot. I can now take this. And if my box is big enough, I can trim it. I can put my cover on. My entrance will be closed. I now got my swarm. Very few bees, right? But what I'm going to do here... <laughs> gonna shake them off. I can just take these bees. Oh, where did my queen go? She's right there. Oh, there she is. 
Thank you. Where'd she go? <laughs> now, if she were in there, oh, you can always see. Look at them walking. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God. They walking? Yeah. 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 There they go. Now I'm going to put her in there because I don't want to lose her again. But eventually, she's going to. The queen's going to walk in there as well and follow the workers along. Oh my God, oh, look, that's amazing. And that is a neat sight for people to see as they walk and, and run. Oh. Is that because it's used equipment and they smell the bees? I, I, it, it helps. I've used cardboard boxes. I've used, I've used everything. <laughs> um, all you're doing is you're providing them that home, right? Because they're homeless. They are looking for a home. And you can look at them, they're just, they're running at this point. So we'll, we'll, get, we'll entice them a little bit. Get out of the way. Now the downside to this is that it's going to take them a while to walk in, but you can, you can shake them closer if you want, give them the idea. Does anybody have a smoker lit? Do you have a smoker? Over there. Don't, don't worry about it. Yeah, don't worry about it. So another thing I'll do too, and when I get bees on the ground like this, you see the ones in the back, what they're doing? They're all hanging up and they're all, they're all setting off their nest knock plan, right? I don't have time to wait, so I'll actually get my smoker and I'll just smoke on the outside edge of them and it'll actually force them to get in a little bit quicker. So I didn't hurt the tree. The bees are walking in. Oh, they're now. And eventually they'll they'll move into that box and again I can come back at nightfall or if I have time I can sit around and do education, right? Talk to the, pe the people who are standing around going, oh my God, I can't believe you're not getting stung. You know, are you sure you didn't get stung? Why are they doing that? Where's the queen? How can you tell what the queen is? You know, those types of questions. So, so if you didn't put the queen in there, she'd go in? They would go in anyways. Yeah. They actually already started to walk in before I put the queen in. Yes, sir. Hope you enjoyed our swarming video. Gives you a couple of ways to think about how to put a swarm in a hive. Some of you have really asked me over the last few months to make a video on swarming. There you go. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks to Steve. We got that nailed down for you. Hey, tomorrow I'm going to publish a video on me sampling like 10 or 15 different uh, kinds of honey. And I think you have a lot of fun hearing about what those flavors taste like. Wish you could have been there. Uh, but please subscribe below. Real important that we get to 10,000 pretty soon. So subscribe to our YouTube channel. Tell your friends. Forward these videos on to other people. We appreciate it. We'll see you next time. I don't know. I'm going to have to go deep, looks like. I'm going to have to go deep. None of us have hats on. Yeah, actually. We are not following protocol. <laughs>